At Forrester, Carter doles out the Italian itineraries to Thomas and Ridge. The trip is going to be epic. He compliments Thomas's designs and Ridge says he's proud of his son. Taylor appears and says, we both are. Thomas admits he didn't know if his collaboration with Holt would be as good as the first time, but it's like they never fell out of sync. In the cabin, Liam listens as Holt practices her Italian. She marvels at the busy itinerary Carter sent over. Liam says people love her. He's sure there will be a lot of new orders coming her way. When his expression changes, she asks, Oh, what? Liam sighs that it's the topic they struggle with. Thomas. At Forrester, the group continues talking about Rome, where Ridge predicts Thomas and Hope will make history. Thomas recalls it wasn't that long ago he was getting fire. Carter cajoles that he proved himself. Now you're taking off to Rome with Hope and taking the world by storm. Thomas picks up on a weird vibe between his parents. In the cabin, Liam has been trying not to bring up Thomas because he doesn't want to fight with Hope. She gets why he's concerned, but the real issue is his trust in her. Liam insists he trusts her. She says, all right, then trust my judgment in Thomas. Liam reminds her that Thomas has successfully manipulated her more than once. He wants her to acknowledge what he's capable of. He declares that this is Hope's line, not Thomas's, and he does not need to be in Rome. At Forrester, Taylor tells Thomas that he saved Hope's line. Carter gets a text from an excited buyer and tells Thomas, you and Hope better get your rest. Thomas assures him they'll be ready for the onslaught. Carter exits and Ridge tells his son that the COO is happy for him. He wants this to work. Taylor says, we all do, especially your relationship with Hope. Thomas says they've been giving each other looks and he wants to know what's going on. Taylor tells Thomas, it's not you were worried about, honey, it's Hope. Ridge tells his son there's buzz going around that Hope may have feelings for him. At the cabin, Hope reminds Liam this is a business trip. He understands that she views it that way, but it's exactly the kind of opportunity that Thomas has used in the past to manipulate her and get close to her. Hope, exasperated, says she can't do this anymore. Hope for the future is her life's work. Liam argues the designs are done and the dresses are made. You don't meet Thomas for this next part. Hope understands he has issues with Thomas, but she trusts him. I met some child, Liam. She declares, you're telling me not to bring Thomas to Rome, and I can't do that. Liam challenges, you can't or you won't. Hope doesn't want to hurt him, but Thomas is her lead designer. He is her partner, and she can't imagine being in Rome without him. At Forrester, Thomas tells his parents that it's ridiculous to think Hope has feelings for him. They protest that Steffi has suspicions. Thomas says that has nothing to do with him. Ridge and Taylor reassure him. They just don't want to see anyone jeopardize his progress. Thomas recaps that he and Hope are partners and co-parents. That's it. He thinks perhaps Steffi is mixing up her caring for him with her issues with Hope. Taylor asks, so there isn't anything Hope has done to lead you on. Thomas flashes to his close encounter with Hope and reiterates that there's no reason either of them should have any concern about he and Hope going to Rome together. In the cabin, Liam reminds Hope she and Thomas came close to spending the night together in San Francisco. Hope says, because the plane had mechanical issues. Liam complains about her working long hours with Thomas after everything he's done. Hope argues he designed a beautiful line for her. He's not manipulating her or biding his time. He is committed to hope for the future. Liam knows she has to be there, but Thomas doesn't. Hope fumes that Thomas put the work in to become a better person and has been nothing but a consummate professional with her. Liam tells her that's the game he plays until he gets her alone. Hope reminds Liam that Thomas is a forester. I am not about to tell Ridge that his own son cannot come. Liam thinks she could give in the history. Hope doesn't want to. Thomas is coming to Rome. Liam doesn't want her to get hurt again. Hope doesn't need his protection. All she's ever needed is his trust. Liam intones, trouble is brewing, Hope. 
it's brewing. Hulk needs to go to the office. She gathers her papers and purse and walks out. Alone in the main office, Ridge gives Taylor for her sexy, raspy voice. Taylor wants to talk about Hope and Thomas. Ridge hopes Steffi is overreacting. Taylor wants to believe that Thomas has this under control. We're not going to worry, but we're going to keep our eyes open. Rich nods, okay. In the cabin, Liam is unable to work as scenes of Hope and Thomas together flash through his mind.